What's happening, my fellow geeks and geekouts? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris. Hear the foghorn? Uh, it's 7.30 in the morning, just got myself a coffee. So today is uh, fixing and finishing some details on some of the cosplays that I've brought here to uh, Halifax. So for Eddie Munson, I've got to find an Iron Maiden patch because I just didn't have time to originally print an item at an Iron Maiden patch on thicker paper and put it on my jacket. Um, so I'm gonna have to find a place that either has them or I'm gonna have to go to a printer's and have one printed. Uh, Pirate Batman, one of the um, fins came off during transit. So I just gotta find some glue and stick it back on. But like, check this out, it's 7.30 in the morning and it's just fog everywhere. It's like the most charming city ever. So yeah, I've got to wait for things to open. I've got to wait for a record shop to open that's around the corner, see if they've got any patches there. If not, there's a printer on the same street as my hotel. I'll just, uh, I've downloaded the image, made it a PNG file with no background, have it printed on thicker paper and stick it on. All right, so in 15 minutes, there's a shop called Taz Records that's gonna be opening just down the street here. So I'm gonna see if they've got the Iron Maiden patch there. Highly doubt it, highly doubt it. If they do, holy shit, that's brilliant. If not, like I said, there's a printing place on the same street as my hotel. Uh, I've got the, the image on my USB in my backpack, throw it in there, size it up, get them to print it on some sort of a thicker paper, cut it out and uh, buy some adhesive and put it onto the jacket. Again, it was one of those things where I just ran out of time. I've also got the handcuff belt buckle uh, that, I, that I took a mold of. It was 3D printed by Benny, Benable FX. Took a mold of it, got a resin casting of it, and it's essentially just a facade of the belt. Like, it just is gonna rest on the actual belt strap for now. Again, ran out of time, but I like to think I got there in the end. We're about to get there in the end. <sighs> All right, no go. They had everything but Iron Maiden. So, looks like we're gonna have to go to the printers, and it's just started raining, and I gotta walk three blocks. <laughs> We're gonna make it work, don't worry. All right, I whipped the hoodie out. The rain's getting a lot heavier. The printing place is just across the road here. All right, just got back. Uh, the guy at the printing place was lovely. I've got to email the file to them and he showed me the different samples. So it's gonna be like a waterproof, tear resistant um, paper that they're gonna use. I'm gonna get two copies, cut them myself and adhere it to, uh, to, to the actual vest jacket. So, Gonna jump on the laptop now, email that off. I uh, said they should be done tomorrow. So tomorrow's Thursday here. Yeah. Um, and then Friday the con starts, even though I'm not doing Eddie until Sunday. So happy days, it's all gonna work out. Mm. Okay, it is quarter to five Thursday morning. I had the worst night's sleep. This always happens day three of when I'm jet lagged. I'll have a crack of sleep for like first day, second day, and then third day, nope. Uh, yeah, feeling very just drained and ugh, run down. And <laughs> the shit thing is nothing's open for a while. Like I'm craving a coffee, but the the local coffee spot isn't open till 6.30 and then I want to get a feed and there's, um, I'm sure a lot of people in Canada will know Smitty's, I think. I'm gonna try and get a breakfast at a place called Smitty's. Today is running errands. Like today is getting everything ready for day one of Halcon tomorrow. So the con doesn't start till midday tomorrow. But today I've got to get a haircut. I've got to get some length taken off the top here for, for Nate tomorrow. Uh, Cause yes, Nathan Drake tomorrow, Pirate Batman Saturday, Eddie Munson Friday. So Sunday morning, I'll have a shave, some clean shave and so, you know, baby smooth for Eddie. Um, yeah, haircut today. I've got to pick up the Iron Maiden prints from the printers up the road. Um, then, shit, what else? I've got to get suspenders for Pirate Batman. I forgot to bring my fucking suspenders um, that hold my pants up, my pantaloons up. Um, I've got to get some, maybe some sort of a stand because when I set up tomorrow, I'll have my prints that I'll sign, but I also want the Pirate Batman cowl and armor on display until Saturday. You know, just something different. Um... What else, what else, what else? I've got a list there. So yeah, today's just an errand day. My eyes are so bloodshot. Like I just feel very run down, but 
you know, you just got to hit the ground running, Geeks and Geekettes. That's, that's what it's all about. So it stormed big time here last night. I think that's another reason why I didn't sleep. The wind was howling, and I thought it was like the air conditioning vents at first. And then I looked out the um, the window last night, and it was, like the streets were flooded. It was like a waterfall coming all the way down the street. It's crazy. All stopped now. It's all like eerily quiet out there. It's crazy. So yeah, I'm just gonna do some pottering around here. There's not really much else to do at the moment. I just gotta wait for stuff to open. I'm desperate for a coffee and I don't particularly feel like a hotel coffee. I'm thinking about finally trying a pumpkin spiced latte. Is that it? I'm very out of the loop because it's Halloween season. I figured may as well try it. So yeah, that's uh, where we're at for now, but I am buggered. I need a good night's sleep tonight because the next three days are just gonna be a blur. All right, I've had one coffee, feeling okay. I'm just waiting till 8 a.m. until Smitty's open. So I just want a big breakfast, just smashing as much food as I can, just for some energy to get me going. And then I'm gonna catch an Uber back to Walmart uh, to get supplies, go get a haircut, and then do some tests with Pirate Batman, Eddie, and Nate when I get back to the hotel room. Just make sure they, they still look good, especially Eddie, because like I said, I haven't still properly done a full test fitting with Eddie yet, so it's just been all rush, rush. I got this. All right, had myself a nice bacon Denver omelet. I had to leave the tater tots over. I've had too many tater tots over the last couple of days. It's ridiculous. All right, now I'm gonna grab an Uber and we're gonna head back to Walmart. Now, while I'm waiting for my Uber, I went and got myself a pumpkin spice latte. First time I've ever tried one. Ooh. Ooh, that's cheeky, I like that. Tastes like everything's gonna be okay. It's like cozy. That is huge though. Where's the cheap and nasty super glue when you need it? Oh yeah. All right, back from Walmart and here's where we're at. So I had to grab some scissors and a, some Brillo pads. So that's gonna be going towards the makeup. Um, I did have to buy some isopropyl alcohol and a little spray bottle because obviously this makeup is alcohol activated. And so this is for Pirate Batman and also Nathan Drake. So. Um, notably the, the red here for, for the blood, scratches and stuff like that. I did have to buy a new belt for Drake. So there's a Dickies belt from uh, Walmart. Now here's the Eddie Munson belt buckle that I cast in Supercar. So again, it's just gonna be a facade on this black belt. So again, just kind of kit bashing and MacGyvering stuff together. So here's the, uh, the, the outer jacket. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say the original make and model didn't have pockets because it's vintage. Well, I'm not gonna spend all that money on vintage. It's still Levi's, it's still a trucker's jacket. Obviously, it's just not the vintage one. And it's weird. Why the fuck would you not put pockets on a jacket? I don't get it. But anyway, Eddie's one doesn't have pockets. Mine does because it's new, but it's still a Levi's trucker jacket. Uh, so here's the 3D printed uh, wasp badge. We've got the badge set here. Um, when it comes to the motorhead patch, I know there's a white outline around it with uh, the screen use one. Again, it'll do for now. Uh, I didn't have enough time to take this driver's jacket, the racer jacket to the tailors and have the, um, the zips put in. Again, it's gonna do the job. And of course, Pirate Batman chilling there. And I've got Drake hanging up here. Now, when it comes to the Eddie wig, I got a brand new wig. So um, I'll leave the website down below for where I got it. Hang on, let's turn the light on and illuminate this. <laughs> so it's much more of a natural brown. And what I've been doing is I brought this hair oil with me and just been oiling it on and off just to kind of take it down and get rid of that buff and just give it that nice greasy look that Eddie has in the show, like he's been sweating a lot. So Juanita, who cut the wig, did an amazing job. Like there was a lot of hair and she's done a great job with the fringe. So. I think all that's left to do is try the whole thing on and see how we're looking. So before I try Eddie on, I probably should have gone up to the printers and picked these up. That was so cool. They printed just a shitload of them. The guy was like, yeah, we just figured we'd fill out the whole sheet. So 
What I'm gonna do, take these out um, and then cut one out and adhere it to the jacket and then we can dry everything on. Cool. Okay. Seems like the placement's about here. Hopefully this sticks. Alrighty, let's try all of this on. So in terms of the belt buckle, let's have a look how this is gonna sit. So like, yeah, that kind of works, but you can obviously still see the actual physical real buckle, but still, like it, mm. hmm, I could do it up right on the side here, and then grab it. I mean, yeah, so that kind of works. Yeah, cool. Again, it's just a facade, so. Okay, good old wallet chain, bracelet. So the rings I just got from my local market in the CBD back in Sydney, and look, they're not 100% spot on. Again, just given the time frame and waiting for the actual rings to arrive would just have taken too long, but for the most part, they, they, they do the trick, you know, I've got the, the skull cross, I've got the hog ring, which is a different style of hog ring, and then the skull, and of course the mood ring, but I've got my Nathan Drake ring there that I've got to take off. Let's see how the jackets look. Cool, okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah, does the job. Patch is stuck on well. I've got the, the DO patch at the back. All right, let's try the wig on. Okay, still needs a bit more oil. Futs with that fringe a bit. So yeah, I've got to run more oil through it, definitely just to kind of get rid of the buff and thin it out a bit, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, lots of futzing to do on the day. So it's gonna be Sunday that I wear Eddie, but for the most part, I'm happy. So thanks very much for watching guys. Next up, it's gonna be the con. Tomorrow's the day, starting at midday. It's gonna be Nathan Drake tomorrow, Pirate Batman Saturday, and Eddie Munson on Sunday. So thank you so much for joining me on my adventures. I'll see you all on the other side of the con. Can't wait to see you all there that are going to be attending HowCon. With that being said, wherever you are in the world, please have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you will. Hope you're happy. Be merry. Be silly. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best. <laughs>